Everyone, I am Mother Goose. My, it's good to see your bright, smiling faces. Brother Goose, I was just about to enjoy some of my favorite nursery rhymes with these boys and girls. Hey, Mother Goose, may I stick around and help you jazz up the nursery rhymes a little? Maybe even use a guitar? <laughs> of course you may. We will have lots of fun. Wow! Humpty Dumpty should have been more careful. Well, he shouldn't have been climbing up on high walls without an adult there to watch him in the first place. That's important for these boys and girls to remember. You know, Mother Goose, the other day I wrote a rhyme about ways to be careful. We need to be careful when we have fun. Remember. But only cross the street when you have permission. Don't play with matches or any fire. One small spark and the flames might grow higher. If you really need help, dial 911. Then people who can help you will be on the run. We need to be careful when we have fun. Remember. Brother Goose, that is a terrific rhyme to remember. You can feel good about yourself because you know how to be careful. And if someone needs help, dialing 911 will put me in touch with the police, firefighters, or an ambulance. I want to remember that rhyme and teach it to my friends. Well, hello, Sister Goose. It's nice to see you. Brother Goose and I have been teaching our new friends some nursery rhymes about being safe. <laughs> We used to say this rhyme together when we were putting things away. Oh, yes. I like this one. Once three little kittens lost their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, oh mother dear, we sadly fear our mittens we have lost. What? You lost your mittens, you lost. They found their mittens and they began to cry Oh mother dear, see here, see here Our mittens we have found What? You found your mittens? You put little kittens Then you shall have some pie Meow, 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 meow The three little kittens put They washed their mittens and hung them out 
a good rhyme when boys and girls help with the laundry. I always appreciate your help around the house. When we work together, we have more time to do fun things together, too. This old woman needed to ask the children to help her out around the shoe. There was an old woman who lived in the shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some jam to go with their bread, then kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some jam to go with their bread, then kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. Hey, I know a rhyme about a girl who had a lamb for a pet. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. It followed her to school one day, school one day, school one day. It followed her to school one day, which was against the rules. Made the children laugh and play, laugh and play, laugh and play. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. And so the teacher turned it out, turned it out, turned it out. And so the teacher turned it out, but still it lingered near and waited patiently about, patiently about, patiently about, and waited patiently about till Mary did appear. Why does the lamb love Mary so? Love Mary so? Love Mary so? Why does the lamb love Mary so? The eager children cry. Why Mary loves the lamb, you know? Lamb, you know? Lamb, you know? Why Mary loves the lamb, you know? The teacher did reply. It sounds like Mary's teacher didn't want the lamb at school. Yes, sometimes people like to take their pets with them when they go places, but other times. They should leave their pets at home unless they have special permission to bring them. One time, we almost took our dog on a walk without a leash, and you told us the rhyme of "Oh where, oh where has my little dog gone?" And from then on, we always made sure we put a leash on our dog when we went for a walk. Oh where, oh where has my little dog gone? Oh where, oh where can he be? Cut short and his tail cut long. Oh where, oh where can he be? Oh where, oh where has my little dog gone? Oh where, oh where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh where, oh where can he be? That reminds me of another rhyme about a little girl who lost her pet. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and can't tell where to find them. Leave them alone and they will come home, wagging their tails behind them. Little Bo Peep fell fast asleep and dreamt she heard them bleating. When she awoke, she found it a joke, for they were still a bleating. <laughs> Then up she took her lid to cook, determined for to find them. What was her joy to see them there, wagging their tails behind them? I am so proud both of you have good manners. Learning to be polite was easy because of the rhyme we made up to remember how to ask questions. Millie and Matthew are always polite when asking permission. They do it just right. May I be excused? May I go outside? Millie and Matthew are always polite when asking a question. They do it just right. May I have some paper, please? May I have some crayons, please? Millie and Matthew are always polite when thanking someone. They do it just right. Thank you for the paper. Thank you for the crayons. Millie and Matthew are always polite when answering a question. They do it just right. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. No, sir. 
Be like Millie and Matthew, use manners each day. Say please, may I, and thank you at home, school, or play. That rhyme about manners reminds me of a rhyme about a black sheep with very good manners. You're talking about the sheep that says yes, sir, yes, sir, aren't you? Yes, ma'am, I am. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master, one for my dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master, one for my dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. I've always thought it was very nice for the black sheep to share his wool with everybody. Yes, indeed, it's good for everyone to share with others. But we need to make sure that the people we loan our things to will take good care of them. I had a little pony. His name was Dapple Gray. I lent him to a lady to ride a mile away. She whipped him. She lost him. She rode him through the mire. I would not lend. people will take care of your things or not. One good way to judge is to look at how they treat their own things and at how they treat things others have loaned them. That makes sense. If they take care of what they have, they will probably take care of things you loan them. I learned to share toys and crayons and paper and a whole lot more when I started school. And that is also where I learned a song that taught me to count to ten. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack paddywhack Give a dog a bone, Earth. this old man came rolling home This old man, he played two He played knick-knack on my shoe with a knick-knack paddywhack Give a dog a bone, Earth. this old man came rolling home This old man, he played three He played knick-knack on my knee with a knick-knack paddywhack Give a dog a bone, Earth. this old man came rolling home This old man, he played four He played knick-knack on my door Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played six. He played knick knack on my sticks with a knick knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played seven. He played knick knack up in heaven with a knick knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played eight. He played knick knack on my gate with a knick knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played nine. He played knick knack on my spine with a knick knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played ten. He played knick knack once again with a knick knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man. Have you heard the rhyme that helps you remember how many days are in each month? No, we never learned that one. Well, I'll teach you. 30 days have September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31, excepting February alone. And that has 28 days clear, and 29 in each leap year. 30 days have September, April, June, and November. Wow, that's really neat. To learn something new every day. That's the truth. My friends and I used to teach each other rhymes all of the time. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we see how many of those rhymes we can remember? Here is a rhyme that is kind of a riddle. As I was going to St. Ives, 
I met a man with seven wives. Each wife had seven sacks. Each sack had seven cats. Each cat had seven kits. Kits, cats, sacks, and wives. How many were going to St. Ives? One. You are so smart. That's right. Only one person was going to St. Ives. Let's sing that rhyme that teaches what some of the animals say. <laughs> The dog Mew Mew says the cat Grunt Grunt goes the hog And Squeak goes the rat To who says the owl Caw Caw says the crow Quack Quack says the duck And what Cuckoo say you know Cuckoo! You two sound like a clock! Speaking of clocks, here's a rhyme about a clock Hickory Dickory Duck The mouse ran up the clock The clock struck one The mouse ran down Hickory Dickory Duck Hickory dickory duck The mouse ran up the clock The clock struck one The mouse ran down Hickory dickory duck The mouse ran down the clock But remember when Jack fell down the hill? Jack and Jill went up the hill To fetch a pail of water Jack fell down and broke his crown And Jill came tumbling after Up Jack got and home did trot As fast as he could caper Went to bed to mint his head with vinegar and brown paper. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. <laughs> oh, thinking of Jack's headache reminds me of a lady who ended up with a sore nose. Sing a song of six pence, a pocket full of rye Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie When the pie opened, the birds began to sing Now wasn't that a dainty dish to send before the king? The king was in his counting house, counting out his money The queen was in the parlor, eating bread and honey The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes There came along a blackbird and pegged off her nose those blackbirds remind me of a fun rhyme we used to say as we played with our thumbs. Oh, yes. Everyone put your thumbs out in front of you and pretend they are little blackbirds. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack and the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Two little blackbirds sitting on a gate One named early and the other named late Fly away early, fly away late Come back early, come back late Two little blackbirds sitting in the snow One named high and the other named low Fly away high, fly away low Come back high, come back low Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Every fiddler had a fiddle, and a very fine fiddle had he. Tweedledee, Tweedledee, went his fiddler's three, and so merry we will be. That reminds me of a cat with a fiddle. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. The dish is not what runs away in this next nursery rhyme. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a 
spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. You know, Brother Goose, some spiders look kind of scary, but they are good to have in gardens because they eat bugs. That's right, Sister Goose. <laughs> Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? Bells and cockle shells, huh? That's odd, Mother Goose. We always planted things like squash and carrots and even pumpkins in our garden. Oh, Brother Goose, when you said pumpkins, you reminded me of a certain pumpkin eater named Peter Peter. Peter Peter Pumpkin Peter had a wife and couldn't keep her. He put her in a pumpkin shell. to eat pumpkin is in pumpkin pie. Is that so, Sister Goose? Well, my friend Georgie loves pie. Georgie Porgie, pudding and pie. Kissed the girls and made them cry. When the boys came out to play, Georgie Porgie ran away. Georgie Porgie, pudding and pie. Kissed the Georgie is pretty good at running, but Jack is good at jumping. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick. Jack likes to play games. But he's also a hard worker. Oh, work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Oh, play and no work makes Jack a mere toy. Come on, come on, I said. Oh, work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Oh, work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All play and no work makes Jack a mere toy. That's what I said. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All play and no work makes Jack a mere toy. You see, Sister Goose, it is important to work some and play some. Yes, I know, Mother Goose. Speaking of work, I have spent all day looking for Lucy's pocket. Her pocket? How could she lose her pocket? Well, Lucy calls her purse her pocket. Lucy Luckett lost her pocket, Kitty Fisher found it. Not a penny was there in it, only ribbon round it. Lucy Lockett lost her pocket, Kitty Fisher found it. Not a penny was there in it, only ribbon round it. Remember the rhyme we used to say on the way to the market? <gasps> to market, to market! To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. <laughs> to market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. Here's a rhyme that's fun to say when you play with your toes. Sweet, pick, 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 pick. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy cried, wee, 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 all the way home.
I'm thinking of another rhyme we can say as we pat our hands together. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a B. Then throw it in the oven for baby and me. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a B. Then throw it in the oven for baby and me. I've seen a baker baking buns. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns If you have no daughters, if you have no daughters If you have no daughters, give them to your sons But if you have none of these little elves You will have to eat them all yourselves Hot cross buns, hot cross buns One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns Buns are my favorite kind of bread I love to eat them nice and hot with just a little butter melted on them. Bread and butter? Why, that's what little Tommy Tucker gets when he sings for his supper. Little Tommy Tucker sings for his supper. What shall we give him? White bread and butter. Little Tommy Tucker sings for his supper. What shall we give him? White bread and butter. Rhymes about food and supper make me think of a boy who liked to eat Christmas pie. Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating his Christmas pie. He stuck in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, what a good boy am I. Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating his Christmas pie. He stuck in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, what a good boy am I. Oh, I beg to differ. You should never play with your food. That's right, Mother Goose. And I know a rhyme about some people with another disgusting habit. Jack Spratt could eat no fat. His wife could eat no lean. And so between them both, you see, they licked the platter clean. Jack Spratt could eat no fat. His wife could eat no lean. And so between them both, you see, they licked the platter clean. <gasps> oh, don't ever lick your plate. Be careful not to eat too much and get plenty of good exercise. That's good advice, Mother Goose. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream Merrily, 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 life is but a dream Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream Merrily, 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 life is but a dream Life is but a dream, row your boat gently down the stream Merrily, 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 life is but a dream Merrily, 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 life is but a dream And I like to dream of visiting far-off places, like Tibet or London. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Build it up with iron bars, iron bars, iron bars. Build it up with iron bars, my fair lady. Iron bars will bend and break, bend and break, bend and break. Iron bars will bend and break, my fair lady. Needles and pins, needles and pins, needles and pins Build it up with needles and pins, my fair lady Pins and needles rust and bend, rust and bend, rust and bend Pins and needles rust and bend, my fair lady Build it up with silver and gold, silver and gold, silver and gold Build it up with silver and gold, my fair lady Gold and silver I've not got, I've not got I've not got gold and silver, I've not got my fair lady. Take the key and lock her up, lock her up, lock her up. Take the key and lock her up, my fair lady. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Twinkle, 
But you should also work for the things you really want. After we watch the stars, Brother Goose and Sister Goose usually head for the bathtub. Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub, and who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, and all of them gone to sea. Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub, and who do you think they the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, and all of them gone to sea. Taking a bath is always so fun. Yeah, and I had all kinds of fun toys to play with in the bathtub. Me too. You never had to ask us twice to go take a bath, Mother Goose. Oh, I know. That was so nice. Besides being fun, baths help us stay clean. Say... Do you remember that rhyme I used to tell you when I helped you get ready for bed, Brother Goose? Oh, yeah! It was called Diddle Diddle Dumpling. Diddle Diddle Dumpling, my son John, went to bed with his stockings on. One shoe off and one shoe on. Diddle Diddle Dumpling, my son John. Diddle Diddle Dumpling, my son John, went to bed with his stockings on. One shoe off and one shoe on Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John Mother Goose, you always told us the reason that we needed to go to bed was so we would have energy for the next day That's right, Sister Goose Remember the rhyme about the boy who didn't get enough sleep? Little boy who come blow your horn The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn Where is the boy who looks at He's under the haystack fast asleep Little boy blue, come blow your horn The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn Where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack fast asleep You two always went straight to bed after that rhyme so you would have enough energy to play, and so you wouldn't fall asleep at school. I remember, Mother Goose, but wasn't there another rhyme you would tell us at bedtime, too? I think it was called, Wee Willy Winky. That's right. Wee Willy Winky runs to the town, upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown, rapping at the window, crying through the lock. Are the children in their beds? Now it's eight o'clock. My goodness, it's our bedtime, too. Let's listen to my favorite lullaby. rock a baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the wind 
the bow breaks, the cradle will fall, and down will come baby cradle and all. Sweet dreams, children. We hope you are enjoying this Rock and Learn video. Rock and Learn has many entertaining audio and video programs, all designed to make learning fun for kids of all ages. Take a look at some of the audio and video programs Rock and Learn has to offer. One of our best-selling programs, Rock and Learn Letter Sounds, really motivates young learners just starting to read. Rock and Learn Phonics is a more comprehensive reading program that builds on what kids learn on letter sounds and takes them to the next level. Our Phonics Easy Readers on DVD provide fun practice with the skills taught in our Phonics audio and video programs. Young learners love our Rock and Learn Alphabet series, Color Shapes and Counting, and Nursery Rhymes. Check out our exciting audio and video programs for learning math, science, social studies, languages, and more. All of our audio programs include a book with either colorful illustrations or fun activities. To receive a catalog or to find a retailer near you, call 1-800-348-8445. And to learn more about what's new, visit us at www.rockandlearn.com. Rock and Learn, cool music and videos that teach. <laughs>